I, w I want to go in the Sea Org. It is my purpose. It's, it's what I want to do with my life. Don't you want me to be happy? No, no. You can wait till you're 18. I was firm. He'd go outside after I'd say no, and he was on the phone. They were trying to handle what, him what to say to me to get me to say, you can go. After a week of that, I was broken down. I fought it, and I thought, I'm going to lose my son because of the disconnection policy if I don't agree. I mean, I knew about it. And I thought, I finally just said, I was so in the, so much pain with my knee that I couldn't think straight, and I couldn't fight it anymore. I fought it for six months, and I went through it with my daughter. And I finally said, you can go, because I knew he would probably end up hating me and, and, and ruin our relationship like my daughter and I when I didn't agree for her to go on staff. So the church wore you down? They wore me down. Physically, spiritually. Yeah, and I wasn't in the mental state. You don't do that. You're taught not to give someone trauma when they're in a lot of pain. You don't add to it. But they, they do the opposite of what, they, of what they say. How do you give a 16-year-old kid a $3 million gag order for one, minors can't sign contracts. Two, $3 million is a huge amount of damages. Do you think he saw something he wasn't supposed to? Most definitely, and I think I know what it is. Tell me. Um, I'm actually working on that, and uh, legally I can't disclose that information right now. I understand. But I, I, I think, you know, when I was told that, I thought, what is so worth to make a child sign three million dollars? What did he see or what happened to him that they're going to threaten him with a three million dollar gag agreement? It's something big. I, I know it is, uh, and I do have people that are working on it, and I will, disc I will share that with you as soon as I get all the information. You know, I tried to talk to Jeremy about this. I said, you know, Nani told me, and um, I want to let you know that wasn't legal. You were 16. It's not legal, Jeremy. And he said, I can't talk about it. I mean, he couldn't talk about it. He was threatened. You could tell he was scared. He, he did not want to talk about it. And to go back a little bit, when he first came back, we went to Chili's, his favorite restaurant. We would go there a lot. And I just tried to ask him, this was before I knew about the gag agreement. I said, you know what happened? He would change the subject. Mom, what's important is I'm home now. And I thought, you know, I just thought it was odd how he was acting, like really like nervous. And I figured it out because he signed that. So that was in July of 2010. You know, what's interesting here, to interject, they're threatening to bankrupt your son for life. Right. If you're 16, if he talks, a $3 million judgment would bankrupt you for life. And he would not be able to do his Scientology. So he did not have a lawyer present when he signed it. Mm -hmm. They didn't and no tell, copy. Yeah, he has no copy of the agreement he signed. Mm -hmm. and That I'm aware of. And it's unenforceable with a minor. Right. But still, that level of threat, he felt like he had a gun to his head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He did. And um, after a month, my, my mom and I were already, because of what I saw with my children, the abuses that were done to me and my children, I uh, have already, I was wavering on whether to leave. And once I heard that, I was done. So my mom and I formally resigned on August 30th, 2010. You're done with the Church of Scientology, but are they done with you? Not at all. That's when the fair game starts. Once I resign, the fair game, they're going to do me in. And they're going to do whatever they can to do that. There's a lot of top players here involved in my story, and I'll be going into that. What you, what do you got to say about that, Marty? How about that? I don't have anything to say to an unidentified well, I told you I was. punk who comes with four people to my door unidentified. Marty, I'm with Squirrel Busters Productions. In goofball outfits. Marty, I'm with Squirrel Busters Productions doing, doing an investigation on you and your squirrel technology that you're promoting. Okay. You're interrupting the delivery of Scientology, which is... Uh, Marty, you don't deliver Scientology. You haven't for years. Is.
no meters. Squirt. No meter, no PC folders. I've been reading your blogs, Marty. There's just no way you're delivering anything to do with Scientology. All right, I've got you guys now. Now leave. Okay, we'll be glad to leave. Okay. And don't come back. Marty, why don't you come downstairs and we'll interview you on it.